Hi students, welcome back to this presentation. Uh, my name is Samuel Chupu Emeka. This is uh, Exponents Part 7 uh, and we are still going to continue our discussion on negative exponents. So it is highly recommended that you view Exponents Part 6. Now in the Exponents Part 6 we solved questions regarding negative exponents uh, just arithmetic problems. We solve just arithmetic problems. We solve only numbers. Here we shall now deal with algebraic problems involving negative exponents, which means we shall solve both uh, problems involving variables and constants, numbers and alphabets. Okay, so let's recall, as usual, let's recall that uh, the base with a negative exponent, a base with a negative exponent is the reciprocal let me say a base with a negative exponent is the reciprocal of the base with the corresponding positive exponent. And vice versa. Okay, so we discussed this in part six, so we're just recalling it now because we're going to use it. Now let's go straight to questions. Let's go straight to solving questions. And the first question x cubed times x to the negative a. Of course, uh, you can do this two ways. You can apply, you can do this two ways. You can apply a uh, laws of exponents, the first law of exponent. You can say 3 plus minus 8, which is x, 3 minus 8, which is x to the negative 5, which is 1 over x to the fifth. Remember, they want us to have only positive exponents. All the questions that we shall solve in this video, we have to leave it in positive exponents. Yeah, that's what they want. Okay, so you can probably do this this way, this method, and save some time. Now, if you want another method, you can do it as division. You can do it as x cubed times 1 over x to the 8th power. And of course, you can have it as 1 over x, 8 minus 3, which is 1 over x to the 5th power. If you want it this way, that's fine. Okay, question 2. We have x to the exponent negative 3 times x exponent negative 8. So, of course, you can apply the laws of exponent. This is negative 3 plus negative 8, which is x negative 3 negative 8, which is x negative 11, which is 1 over x to the 11 power. Remember, they want it in positive exponent. Okay? That's what they want it. Question 3, we have d cubed times d to the negative 7 times d to the negative 1. d exponent 3 times d exponent negative 7 times d exponent negative 1. So of course this will be d if they have the same base, bring down the base, and if they are multiplying, you just add the exponents. This is 3 plus negative 7 plus negative 1. If you want, you can put this in parentheses if you want to, but that's fine. It does not matter. If you want to put it in parentheses, that is fine. If you want to leave it as it is, that's fine. So this will be d3 plus minus 7 is minus 7 plus minus is minus 1. So this is d. You have 3, you owe 7. That means you owe 4. Minus 1, which is d, you owe 4, you owe 1, you owe 5. And that will give us 1 over d to the fifth. Question 4. We have d exponent negative 5 
all exponent 2. We still apply the laws of exponent here. So this will be d negative 5 times 2, which is d negative 10, which is 1 over d exponent 10. 1 over d exponent 10. All right, let's go ahead and finish the rest of the problems. Uh, they are pretty simple. Uh, now, we, we still have some probably challenging problems at the end. You know, I try to do varieties. I try to do varieties so that I start with the simple problems and then move to the more challenging problems. Uh, question 5, we have parentheses d exponent 3, e exponent negative 4, then outside exponent negative 2. So as I said earlier in part 6, the outside exponent applies to the base, the base inside, the inside base, the two inside bases. So this will be d 3 times negative 2 times e, negative 4 times negative 2. So this is equal to d, negative 6, times e, 8. Negative 4 times negative 2 is 8. So this would be 1 over d to the 6th times e to the 8. And this will give us e to the 8 over d to the 6th. e exponent 8 divided by d exponent 6. Question 6. We have d, then e exponent 2, f exponent negative 3, then all the parentheses and you have an outside exponent which is negative 4. Now this d means 1. I hope you know. It means 1. So this will be d 1 times negative 4 times e 2 times negative 4 times f negative 3 times negative 4. You kind of what we call dissociate. You dissociate. When you have this now, you kind of want to separate them. You dissociate. And then after multiply, after solving it, you dissociate, you solve it, then you associate. Okay? So this is d to the negative 4 times e to the negative 8 times f up to 12. So this would be 1 over d to the 4th times 1 over e to the 8 times f to the 12th. So this would give us f to the 12th over d to the 4th e to the 8. You are expected to associate. So you dissociate, you solve it. And then you associate. Dissociate, solve, then associate. Okay? Question 7. We are moving on. We have more of this d to the third, e to the negative 3, f to the negative 2, all to the negative 5. So let's dissociate. We dissociate. This is d 3 times negative 5 times e negative 3 times negative 5 <coughs> excuse me times f negative 2 times negative 5. So this will be d to the negative 15 times e uh, to the 15 times f to the 10. Okay, 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. Negative 3 times negative 5 is 15. Negative 2 times negative 5 is 10. So this will now be 1 over d to the 15 times e to the 15, f to the 10. So you now associate now. e to the 15, f to the 10, all over d to the 15. You associate. Question 8. Uh, we have 5 a cubed b exponent negative 4, all of them
them exponent negative 3. Now we have two ways of doing this. We have two ways of doing this, but I mean, I can show you the two, the two ways, but I would prefer to just do it uh, the easier way. And if you want me to teach you the second way, I can. Yeah. Now what's the easier way? This touch shape first. Okay, this touch shape. This means 5, of course, this means 1. Okay, this means 1. 1 times negative 3 times A, 3 times negative 3 times B, negative 4 times negative 3. So this is 5 to the negative 3 equal to 5 to the negative 3 times A to the negative 9 times B to the 12th. Okay? And this will be 1 over 5 cubed. Remember, 1 over 5 to the third times 1 over a to the ninth times b to the twelfth. So this is 1 over 125 times 1 over a to the ninth times b to the twelfth. So now you can associate. Associate. So this will be b to the twelfth over 125 a to the ninth. Okay. Uh, I, I forgot to let you know um, the notes the notes for this video are also on my website the video is on my website I mean the link to the video is on my website and the notes for the video is the notes for the video is also on my website um, www.samiamchukuemeka.com uh, you click you go to the website, you uh, click on my picture to enter the site, then you click on uh, mathematics, then click on algebra, and it brings you to the videos tab where you click on algebra. So it takes you directly to the videos, but on that same tab you will see notes, then you see resources. So you click on notes, and then you click on exponents. Okay, you will see that exponents yeah now this is a playlist exponents is a topic that is a playlist is a video playlist which means it has a lot of parts okay now i will recommend that you start from the beginning from the first part exponent one so and go down okay and view the videos in the playlist if you want to have a good understanding of exponents okay uh let's continue uh, that's question 8. Question 9. Question 9. Uh, A to exponent negative 1 over B exponent negative 3. Then all of them exponent negative 3. So we can, we do it as we've been doing it. This is A negative 1 times negative 3. You dissociate over b, negative 3 times negative 3. So this would be a cubed over b to the 9th. That's it. Question 10. Of course, it's good for you to pause the video, do it on your own. Then you play and see whether we get the same answer. Okay, I always encourage students when you're viewing my videos, uh, before I begin a question, pause it. You know, after, if you watch me do the first question, second question, then before probably the third question, you pause the video, try to work it on your own. And after working it, you play it and see whether we get the same answer. Okay. Uh, question nine, uh, I mean, question 10, I mean, uh, f a squared over b to the exponent negative 3, then all of them to exponent negative 2. Okay, we dissociate that. This is a 2 times negative 2 over b negative 3 times negative 2. So this will give us a exponent negative 4 over b exponent 6. Yeah. We don't want... <coughs> We don't want a we don't want a negative exponent. We don't. We want our answers to be 
only in positive exponents. So this will now be what? This will be a exponent negative 4 times 1 over b exponent 6. You know, that is what it means. Now, this is b, please. This is not 6. This is b. Okay? b exponent 6. Okay, now, this is what it means here. So, I try to kind of dissociate it first. I'm dissociating it. So, this will now give us 1 over a to the 4 times 1 over b to the 6. This will now be 1 over a4 b6. a exponent 4 b exponent 6. 1 over a exponent 4 b exponent 6. Question 11. We have 5x exponent negative 2 over 3y exponent negative 1. All of them exponent negative 2. We are coming gradually to the more challenging ones. Not challenging to me anyway. <laughs> Not challenging to Mr. C. Okay, we dissociate, as usual, we dissociate. Now this means 5 to the exponent 1. That's what it means. So this is 5, 1 times negative 2 times x, negative 2 times negative 2. And you must not put 1, because that is the next question you are, you are probably trying to ask me. Must you put 1? No, you must not. If you don't want to put 1, that's fine. You can just say 5 exponent negative 2. Because 1 times negative 2 will still give you negative 2 anyway. So go ahead and put 5 exponent negative 2. That's fine. Okay? All over 3 times y, I mean 3 exponent negative 2, because this negative 2 outside exponent is for every base. Every base. So you have this 5, you have this x, you have, I mean you have 5 as one base, you have x as another base, you have 3 as another base, you have y as another base. So this is 3 exponent negative 2 times y, negative 1 times negative 2. So we keep, let's keep on dissociating. This will be because, you know, I have a negative exponent here, so let me just dissociate. 5 exponent negative 2 times x exponent 4, right, times 1 over 3 exponent negative 2 times 1 over y exponent 2. Now, if this is confusing you, I got you. I don't want you to get confused. So let's still write it. 5 exponent negative 2 times x exponent 4 all over 3 exponent negative 2 times y exponent 2. Now, we don't have a problem with x and y here. The problem we have is 5 and 3 because they are still in negative exponent. So let's just dissociate this, you know, step by step. This means 5 exponent negative 2 times x exponent 4 times 1 over 3 exponent negative 2. That is what it means. Times 1 over y exponent 2. So this is a shade. This is a shade. This is a shade. This is a shade. This is a Then associate. Dissociate, then solve, then associate. Dissociate, solve, associate. So this will be, remember from our definition, what this means from our definition. 1 over 5 to the second power times x to the fourth times. Now 1 over 3 to the negative 2 is already 3 squared. That's and vice versa. Remember what we say. Then times 1 over y squared. So let's finish this. What would it give us? What is it going to give us? That would give us 1 over 25 times x to the 4th times 9 times 1 over y squared. Now let's what? Associate. Let's associate. 
we finish solving, everybody has a positive exponent. Let's now associate. This will be 9x4 over 25y squared. Now, please and please, integers come before the variables. Instead of saying, nine, uh, instead of saying x9, we say 9x. We don't say x9. No, we say 9x. No. Okay, so 9x to the fourth power. We don't want to say x to the fourth power 9. No, we don't want to do that. Or we don't want to say y to the second power 25. Okay, we don't want to say y exponent 2, then 25. No. We want to say 9x exponent 4 all over 25y exponent 2. Okay? Integers come before the variables. Now, question 12. Question 12. We have 3ab squared over 5x exponent negative 1, y exponent negative 2, all of them exponent negative 1. So how do we solve this? Like I said, you have two methods that to save time. Okay, to save time in this video, let's do it one method. Now this will be what? 3 exponent negative 1 times A, exponent negative 1 times B, 2 times exponent negative 1, all over 5 exponent negative 1 times X, exponent negative 1 times negative 1 times y exponent negative 2 times negative 1. The negative 1 outside exponent is for every base inside the exponent. Okay, so this will now be equal to, uh, this is 3 exponent negative 1, that's fine, let's leave it like that, times a exponent negative 1 times b exponent negative 2, all over 5 exponent negative 1 times x exponent 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. Times y, negative 2 times negative 1 is 2. y squared. Now let's dissociate. Let's dissociate. Let's dissociate this. This is now 3 exponent negative 1 times a exponent negative 1 times uh, b exponent negative 2 times 1 over 5 exponent negative 1 times 1 over x exponent 1 times 1 over y exponent 2. So this will be 1 over 3 exponent 1 times 1 over a exponent 1 times 1 over b exponent 2 times 1 over 5 exponent negative 1 is already 5 exponent 1 times 1 over x, 1 over x, because x exponent 1 means x, times 1 over y squared. We are doing it step by step, step by step. Step by step is key, is the key. So you don't make mistakes. So we come back here, this is 1 over 3 times 1 over a times 1 over b squared times 5 times 1 over x times 1 over y squared. And guess what we can do now? We can do what? Associate. We can associate. So this will be 1 times 1, 1 times 1, 1 times 5, 5, times 1, 5, times 1 again, 5. So this is 5 over 3 times a, 3a times b squared times x times y squared. 3ab squared x, y squared. Another thing is this. A, instead of saying a, b, we say, instead of saying b, a, we say a, b. Instead of saying yx, we say xy. 
Why? Because A comes before B in the alphabet. In the order of the English alphabets. You count, you say A before you say B, and you say X before you say Y. So it has to be in this order. Don't put it like 3x y squared b squared a. If you put it that way, it is not wrong. But we don't want it. We want it to be ordered. Okay? A comes before B, and that comes, or B comes before X, X comes before Y in the uh, English alphabets. So you now associate and you get that. Pretty simple, huh? It's not difficult. Not difficult. You can do it. Okay. Question 13. Question 13. We have a to the negative 7 over a to the negative 4. Oh, this one is pretty simple. So this will be what? A to the negative 7 minus minus 4. Remember, minus minus 4. So this is A to the negative 7 plus 4, which is A to the negative 3. You owe 7, you have 4. That means you owe 3. Which is 1 over A cubed. 1 over A cubed. Question 14. X cubed y exponent negative 3 all over x to the negative 2 y to the negative 5 okay x exponent 3 times y exponent negative 3 divided by x exponent negative 2 times y exponent negative 5 so what is it going to be this will be let's dissociate let's dissociate Let's dissociate x by itself, dissociate y by itself, solve it, and then we associate. So this is x to the 3 over x to the negative 2 times y to the negative 3 over y to the negative 5. So this will be x 3 minus minus 2 times y minus 3 minus minus 5. So this will be x 3 plus 2 times y, negative 3 plus 5. And this will be x5, x to the power 5, x to exponent 5, times y. You owe 3, you have 5. That means you have 2. So this is, you now associate. Associate. This is x to the fifth power, y to the second power. x to the fifth power, y to the second power. Question 15. We have negative 7 x squared y exponent negative 4 times negative x exponent negative 3 y exponent 7. Okay. We do what? We dissociate. Let's dissociate first, okay? We dissociate this. So this is negative 7. Negative 7 times x squared times y exponent negative 4 times... Okay, now, this is like saying... Uh, this is where you have to be careful, very careful. I mean, you can say negative 1 times x to the negative 3, you can say that, or you can just say negative x to the negative 3 times y to the 7. You can also have it this way, that's fine. Or you can, if you on the same side, if you want to put negative 1 here, that's fine. Remember what I did the last time, remember what I did the last time, when you have negative, you know, x Cube, it means negative 1 times x cube. Just know that. Okay? So to be on the safe side, you might want to do that to be negative 7 times. Because negative 7 still means negative 1 times 7. Times x squared.
squared times y to the negative 4 times negative 1 times x to the negative 3 times y to the 7. Okay? So, of course, negative 7 times negative 1 is 7. That's fine. Then times x, 2 plus negative 3. Then times y, negative 4 plus 7. I mean, I skipped a step. You know, I skipped a step. You know that, right? If you want to do it properly, you can do it like this. Negative 7 times negative 1 times x squared times x to the negative 3 times y to the negative 4 times y to the 7. So this will be 7 because negative 7 times negative 1 is 7 times x 2 plus negative 3 times y negative 4 plus 7. I'm kind of breaking it down, okay? 7 times x, 2 minus 3. I could skip steps, but I don't want to, so that you will understand it very well. Okay, so let's complete this. This will now be, what? 7 times x to the negative 1 times y cubed. So this will be 7 times 1 over x times y cubed. So you finish solving, so you do what? Associate. 7y cubed over x. Okay, four more to go. Question 16. Sixteen, we have forty-eight a to the negative two, y to the negative three, all over four a to the negative three, y to the negative one. So let's dissociate. Let's dissociate. This will be forty-eight over four times a negative 2 over a negative 3 times y negative 3 over y negative 1 exponents okay this is a shape 48 divided by what is what 12 12 times this is a negative 2 minus minus 3 times y negative 3 minus minus 1 so this is 12 times a, negative 2 plus 3, times y, negative 3 plus 1. So this is 12 times a, negative 2 plus, <coughs> negative two plus 3 is 1, times y, negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. And then, we finish it up. From here, this will be equal to 12 times a times 1 over y squared, which will be equal to 12a. You now associate 12a over y squared. You now associate. 17, negative 36, x, negative 1, y, negative 3 over. 3x negative 1, y squared. What would this give us? This is what we dissociate negative 36 over 3 times x to the negative 1 over x to the negative 1 times y to the negative 3 over y squared. So this is negative 12 times x negative 1 minus minus 1 times y negative 3 minus 2. So this is 12 times x negative 1 plus 1 times y negative 5. So this is 12 times x to the 0 power times y to the negative 5. So if we finish it, this will be 12 times x to the 0 power is 1. Anything to power 0 is 1. Okay? Then times 
1 over y to the fifth power. So this will be 12 over y to the fifth power. 12 over y to the fifth power. x to the negative 3 minus y to the negative 2. Alright, this will be what? 1 over x cubed minus 1 over y squared. Right? And if you like the vertical method, we can do it the vertical method. Whichever method you like to, that's fine. If you want to do the vertical method, we have 1 over x cubed minus 1 over y squared. What is the LCD? What's the LCD? LCD is what? x cubed y squared. x cubed y squared. You ask yourself, what will you do to x cubed to give you x cubed y squared? You multiply by y squared. And whatever you do to the denominator, you do to the numerator. So this gives you y squared over x cubed y squared. The same thing applies here. What will you do to y squared to give you x cubed y squared? You multiply by x cubed. Whatever you do to the denominator, you do to the numerator. This is s cubed over x cubed y squared. And then you can now subtract it to now give you what? y squared minus x cubed over x cubed y squared. That's it. I mean, you can simplify again. This is the vertical method. Next one, I'm going to do horizontal method. Question 19. Question 19, we have a to the negative 1, b to the negative 2, minus a, b to the negative 1. Now, what does this mean? This means what? 1 over a to the 1 times 1 over b to the 2. That's what it means. Then minus a times 1 over b, 1. Okay? So this means what? This is 1 over ab squared minus a over b. Okay, what's the LCD here? LCD will be what? A B squared. This into this is 1 times 1, 1 minus. This into this will be AB. AB times A is A squared B. And that's it. This so 20. Last but not the least. We have 7x exponent negative 2 y plus 8 x exponent negative 1 y exponent negative 2. So what would this be? This is 7 times 1 over x squared times y plus 8 times 1 over x times 1 over y squared. That is what it is. So this would be what? 7y over x squared. Because remember, we want only positive exponents. 7y over x squared plus 8 over xy squared. So what method do you want me to do? Do I go back to doing vertical method? Okay, what's the LCD? What's the LCD here? LCD is what? x squared, y squared. Now, I hope you know how I got, I find this LCD. Please, view my videos on factors and multiples, please. It is very important because you might ask me, how are you getting all this LCD? LCD will contain everybody. LCD will have to contain everybody. For instance, let me kind of explain it here. It will contain everybody. You're looking for LCD of x squared and xy squared. This is x times x, and then xy squared is x times y times y. Okay, so the LCD will be, if it's if it appears twice, call it one time, and then count every other person. So this is x times, this x and this x appear twice, call it one time, then multiply every other person, times x, 
times y times y, and you have x squared y squared. That's the same way you do all that. Okay, you, I mean, view my video on factors and multiples, please. My videos on factors and multiples. So this will now be, if we are using horizontal method, what will it be? This is x squared y squared. Now, what will you multiply by x squared to give you x squared y squared? That is y squared. Multiply it by 7y. So this will be 7y times y squared is 7y cubed. Right? Plus, what will you do to x, y squared to get x squared, y squared? Multiply by uh, x. So whatever you do to the denominator, you do to the numerator, this is 8x. And this becomes your answer. 7y cubed plus 8x all over x squared, y squared. Okay, uh, please, we have come to the end of this uh, presentation. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, ask, it, ask me in class or ask it in the comments. Okay? Uh, thank you for viewing this presentation and we are going to still do more on exponents, especially with fractional exponents and then exponential equations, exponential functions, exponential equations. Thank you so much for listening to this presentation and you have a great evening.